So what is the Abattoir Azir? The Abattoir is set to be the ultimate challenge in Season of the Blood, hitting Diablo 4 on December 5 with patch 1.2.3. You've got six weeks to conquer it, as it'll be available until January 23rd. Now let's break it down. If you have anything to add or even thoughts on the questionable idea around hidden afflictions, let me know in the comments below. I'll talk about it later on in the video. All right, to jump into the action, you've got to complete the season journey first. Once that's in the bag, you'll unlock access to these game-changing blood-soaked sigils, which are forged at the Oculus. Crafting a tier one blood-soaked sigil requires 800 sigil dust. Pop that, and you'll open up a blood portal in Ked Badu. This is akin to tackling a T100 nightmare dungeon in terms of the strength. Once you step in, the clock starts ticking with a 10 minute window. We need to clear out enough enemies to summon the boss, which will be three blood seekers. Think of it like the adrenaline fueled rifts in D3, if you've ever tackled those. It's essentially a nightmare dungeon with one objective, eliminate the enemies as fast as possible to spawn the boss and then eliminate the boss. Also, you'll need to keep in mind you only have one life before you need to make another sigil. Upon successfully completing each tier of the abattoir of Zir, you'll gain a recipe to craft the next tier's blood forge sigil. Completing the first tier of abattoir of Zir unlocks the unique glyph Tears of Blood. The Tears of Blood glyph is our most powerful glyph and in fact the biggest DPS boost we are going to receive which should help us conquer the higher tiers of the dungeons going forwards. This glyph's ranking goes up to 200 with the damage modifier starting at plus 2% and gaining 0.10% per level. Okay, let's talk prep for the upcoming event then. Firstly, make sure you finish your season journey. Then I recommend some sigil dust farming. Why? Well, we're going to need a lot of it to keep those dungeons running at 800 apiece. There's a chance we might score big on Sigil Dust from completing a dungeon, but no guarantees just yet, so get to grinding. When it comes to building for success, most of the S tier builds will carry you through, emphasizing on armor and resistances, though not as high with armor as we initially anticipated as monsters in these dungeons don't seem to scale as high as we expected. For instance, in a tier 10 dungeon, monsters are only a level 157 compared to the usual 154 in a standard T100 dungeon, which means they might not hit as hard as expected, but may just get a higher health pool making them more spongy. I think moving forward, CC is our friend. Given that we're up against Bloodseekers and not a traditional boss, stacking stuns becomes a powerful survival strategy. With Bloodseekers as the final boss, you won't need to hyperfocus your build solely on single target damage for the big boss showdown at the end. When we get a chance to play, it will be all about adapting. As we ascend into higher tiers, the game plan may shift. There may be a balance of sacrificing some survivability for increased damage. This is where Hard CC steps into the spotlight offering more ways to stay alive and avoid those dreaded one shots. Keep an eye on your monster levels too. If they don't scale as much as we push towards tier 25, we can consider leaving some armor on the table in favor of ramping up our DPS. As we venture deeper into the tiers, we'll encounter more afflictions. Weirdly enough, they'll be hidden and unknown before we step into the dungeon. To up our survival game, the smart move would be to evenly stack each resistance in defense as we head into these dungeons. With these considerations in mind, brace yourselves for the fact that some runs just might hit harder. Especially if, for instance, you end up with a critical damage modifier while running a crit damage based build. The same goes for resistance breakers. After investing time in stacking resistances and fine tuning our build, Facing these unforeseen challenges can be a tough pill to swallow, adding an element of unpredictability. I'm still wrapping my head around it, especially since there's no way to pinpoint why one run will feel more challenging than another. I feel like I might find myself deciding to cut my losses and restart the dungeon, especially on a hardcore character, which will use up more precious sigil dust in the process. Not sure how I feel about this change. Overall, I hope this helped you understand what's in store for the new update. And I'm excited for this update because we all know Diablo 4 is in need of some serious endgame content, so bring it on.